Thank you, John. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> you are intrepid, and you're here on a Saturday morning. In some parts of the world, uh, people actually gather together on Wednesdays and Thursdays, too, uh, because they can take a couple of hours off from work to go uh, talk to other people about change, about how we get social change that improves the lives and quality of life for all of us. I'm 56 years old, and it never occurred to me that in 2015, I would have spent a career of 35 plus years where I have been working in organizations, in both the public sector and the private sector, where it would not be normal to be applying for a job coming out of community college, out of college, out of graduate school, and not have vacation be part of the hiring package. But that is the world we are in right now for all workers in the United States of America. People have to actually fight for the right to get a salary, get work, and then negotiate for the right to take some time off. And I've known John DeGraff now, I, <laughs> I can't believe it, it's been 10 years. 10 years ago I met him at the University of Washington when I was on staff and got great vacation and medical leave and dental leave and jury leave benefits. And, um, and he came to me talking about take back your time and affluenza and I was living the restructuring of the workplace. I had gone from a full-time employee to a part-time employee and lost vacation time. I lost all other retirement benefits at the University of Washington. The only thing I kept was medical leave. And we need to fight for the right for every worker, whether it is a part-time worker or a multiple job worker, every worker to earn the right to take time off after giving their time and energy and, and ideas to the places where we work. So John worked with me to write the legislation for paid time off in Washington State. We went through one um, round in the legislature in 2014. We went back to the drawing board and did some revisions based on feedback we got from teachers and a um, number of other people in the community. I put it forward again in 2015. It can't get out of committee because we're fighting for a whole range of rights, right? We're, we're fighting for minimum wage and we're fighting for paid sick leave and paid family leave and disability insurance. We're basically fighting for a decent, a decent workplace and a decent work opportunities for all of our people. But just because we don't win on round one, and this is why I, I wanted to be here today, okay? Because you don't, you almost never win on round one. Our job is to keep the pressure on for as long as it takes until we win. And that is what I am going to do. <laughs> you know, uh, women started fighting in 1842 for the right to vote. Okay? 1842. And then in 1848, there was Seneca Falls. And then in 1910, Washington State gave women the right to vote. But it wasn't until 1920 that women got the right to vote as part of our constitutional rights. It takes one long time to win our rights. But health care is a right, and we're winning that fight. We had to fight for years to make health care access to everyone a right. And until we have a single payer system, it won't be a right for everyone because there are still 34 states in the nation that are denying Medicaid access to our people. They live in the wrong state with the wrong governor and the wrong legislature. That's the only mistake they made. 
So we need them to have health care. We need all workers to have sick leave and all workers to have paid family leave and we need all workers to have paid vacation time. So thank you for fighting the fight with me. I will not stop until I win because that's when we will know that we have done everything in our power to make the 21st century workplace a fair place and a safe place and a healthy place for all of us. Because hopefully with healthcare, we're gonna live a lot longer and we'll wanna be enjoying ourselves a lot more through our work and our play with our families and friends. And what better place in the world to get paid vacation time first in the United States than in Washington State, which is the best state in the nation to go outside and play. So thank you very much. <laughs>